as I'm preparing to speak this morning, I have the feeling, and I want to describe it to you, in my stomach that feels a bit like standing in the doorway of a plane and getting ready to jump out. There's a quote that's attributed to Chogyam Trungpa Rinpoche that includes this image that the spiritual journey is a bit like jumping out of a plane and then noticing the bad news that your parachute doesn't open. The good news, that there's no ground to hit. I feel this way because I'm going to be speaking on the most important things I've learned in 30 years of being what one might call a true spiritual explorer in Running Sounds True, in spending time producing programs with some of the most renowned spiritual teachers of our time, in interviewing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different healers, artists, spiritual teachers of all kinds. Now I'm sitting here and I want to share with you what lessons have really meant the most to me? What's really changed me? And I want to emphasize in that certain misconceptions that I had at the beginning of the spiritual journey and how various learnings shifted, shifted my thinking, shifted my orientation away from what I would now call misconceptions. And so I have this feeling of jumping out of a plane with no parachute that will open and no ground to hit because I'm actually talking about what is most alive in the spiritual journey for me, what has mattered the most to me. And there's a feeling at the same time of being empty-handed nothing really to hold on to and claim, and yet an imperative to speak and tell my own true story. I want to describe eight spiritual lessons, as I mentioned, that I could call game changers for me on the path. And here's the first one. There's no end to the spiritual journey. You could even say there's no one specific goal for the spiritual journey. There's no place to land. There's no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. There's no there there, if that makes sense. There's no there there, there's just here. There's just rainbow. There's just path. There's just journey. And I really believed as a young person that I was going to do a series of practices. I was going to learn with great teachers. I was going to incorporate all of these different knowings and practice all of these different techniques, and I would land there. And there was some place that I thought was always happy. Always happy. I don't know if I thought I was going to have some kind of smiley face plastered on the inside of my head, but I think I kind of thought that. I was going to be always happy and always peaceful, I might add. Always, 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 always. Always every moment. And it was going to be like the land of peace and happy. It was a place, if you will, where I would live from all the time. Now, I'm not saying anything negative about peace and happiness. In fact, I have more peace and happiness in my life now than I ever thought.